Hi, it's Shin from MaxWorkouts.com. Today I'm going to show you an exercise that works both your chest, your arms, and your abs all together. So we're kind of combining two of the most uh, popular workouts, which is mostly, which is your uh, the push-ups and uh, sit-ups. So uh, I'm calling it uh, the push-up pikes with the slider. And the reason why I have the sliders is because uh, this specific exercise involves uh, a piece of accessory that you can get at any hardware store. I got these at a local hardware store. Um, furniture movers, uh, they're felt on one side and uh, I guess like um, plastic or, or sort of a foam on the other side. Uh, these are great if you have hardwood floors. If you don't have hardwood floors and you have carpet, you can actually buy these, which are basically plastic on one side and same thing, foam on the other side. Um, they go for a few bucks, uh, you know, it varies or whatever. I think these are a little bit more expensive than the felt ones. If you have carpet, these probably last a little bit longer. Um, I know guys that have used, the, have used these for like two, three years without having to, you know, ever needing to do anything about it. So uh, they do last a long time. So. But um, since I have hardwood floors, um, I'm gonna use the felt ones, okay? So, um, so again, this is, I'm, I'm basically combining two exercises at once uh, using these. And um, I'm gonna show you two ways, sort of like the, uh, the harder version and the easier version. So, what you're gonna wanna do is place uh, the sliders on the floor and you wanna put your feet on the sliders, so. Okay. I'll do them in a few different angles so you can see. And you're gonna get into a push up. So, position. Start off in a pike position. You're gonna do a push up, come on up into a pike. And then back down to a plank, push up, pike. And you can do this. Um, all together in one quick motion. So it's gonna look like this. One, two, three, four, five. It's, uh, definitely get your heart rate up, works your upper body, your arms, and the pipe obviously position really works your abs, as well as holding the plank position because you know, you're moving your legs and in order to stabilize into a plank position, you have to really uh, tighten your core, tighten your abs to hold that position. So it's a great, great exercise. Um, for those of you that can't do uh, push-ups, you can do knee push-ups. I'm gonna break it down for you. So same, exact same thing. The only thing you need to do is you're gonna place your knee on the floor. And then when you come up into a pike position, you're just gonna bring your knee off the floor, okay? so. Come on onto all fours into a knee push-up position. So you're gonna come down into a knee push-up. Then once you come on up into, uh, once you come on up, you're gonna get into a pike position and then, or I'm sorry, a plank position and then perform the pike. Knee down, up, knee down, up. Okay. So. Okay, so start with, um, start on all fours, getting into a knee push up, come on up into a plank, and then perform the, the pike. So, knee push up, come on up to plank, and perform pike. And again, you wanna place something uh, below your knees here to protect your knees if you're using a uh, hardwood floor. If you're on the carpet, no problems at all. I would uh, recommend doing anywhere from, challenge yourself anywhere from 10 to 20 reps or even more uh, continuous. Uh, this is a combination of both strength and you get your heart rate up, so it's sort of cardio at the same time. So it's sort of an overall workout. So give yourself a challenge to see how many you can do. Rest for about you know 30 seconds to a minute depending on your shape and try it anywhere from three to four sets and i think you'll get a great workout with one simple exercise